Who pays for the first date? Wait. Who pays for the first date? Who? Who? I'm actually who who pays for the first date, bro? The government. The government. When you go on a date, the government pays for the date. Who are you talking about a date? First date. Yes, if you take a shorty out on a date, who's paying for it? You, Me. You, I, I, I wanna make sure your back up, bro. We mad close, nigga. Make sure you, you sit your This your boy KJ. I'm here on the promenade at Clark Atlanta, homecoming 2022. The today's topic is cheating, and we're gonna see who had the best experience, the worst experience, who pays for the first date, all that. Stay tuned and stay great. Who am I speaking to? J to B. J to B. <laughs> who pays for the first date? Who? Who pays for the first date? Whoever plans it, whoever asks the other person out. Okay. The boy. The, the boy? Guy. I mean, yes. I said just yes? All right. Who pays for the first date? See, here's the thing. I would say the male, but I wouldn't mind going half. Only because the first date is always like a little tricky. But I really do want the man to pay, but that's just going to show you what type of man that you're going to be for me. So if you don't pay, it's like, I'll leave a tip, but... <laughs> okay, that's cool. Who pays for the first date? What? Who pays for the first date? Who? Who? I'm actually, who, who pays for the first date, bro? The government. The government. When you go on a date, the government pay for the date. Who are you talking about a date? First date? Yes, if you take a shorty out on a date, who's paying for it? You, me. You, I, I, I want to make sure your back up, bro. We mad close, nigga. Make sure you, you situated. I ain't date, but I'm date. Who am I speaking to? Travis Brown, Young Visionary, Big Trav, CDP. What's happening? All right. Who pays for the first date? Me, of course. Okay, I'm, you got to make sure. Some people don't get I need to make sure you know, but... If we feeling the vibe, then you know, it can, you know, balance itself out. I say let. Kiki. Seven. Paris. All right. Who pays on a first date? Um, your man. Your man. Okay. It, de it depends on who offered to go on the date. Okay. Who, who asks us first? So who invites? I, so if I invited you like, hey, let's go here, yada, 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 let's split 50-50 or I'm going to pay for it. Okay. I'm not going to go nowhere empty-handed. All right. What about you? I don't know. I feel like it should be 50-50 on the first date. 50-50? That's tough. All right. Who pays for the first date? Depending on who he is and how I like him, but now nah, he do. I'm going to say, it, technically, it don't have to be anybody. You could do a date like walking in the park where ain't no cash even flowing. So. That's true. Okay, okay. What is your, what's your pet peeve during a date? What's my what? Your pet peeve during a date. What? Your pet peeve. You know what a pet peeve is? Dawn of the day. What is your pet peeve during the date? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Oh, during the date. <clears throat> if I, you gotta have straight, t okay, if your teeth not straight, kick rocks. If you, if, if I can't smell you, kick rocks. Um, hygiene, teeth, what else? Yo, you gotta have on some good, like, cute little coat O's, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta be dressed now, like, appropriate, not too tight. The clothes gotta fit your body right. We not wear extra small jeans and you got some thick thighs, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be doing all that. Okay. <laughs> what are your pet peeves on the first date? Like, what, what do you don't like on the first date? I don't like the shot of eating too hard, too smacking too hard. And I don't even hear, I want to hear smack, smack shit, no drama shit, fucking time. <laughs> Pet peeve during the date, checking your phone, mm -hmm. checking Instagram, uh, Snapchat, Snapchat, and Insta story, and whatever you want to call it, like you paid for the date. What? But if that's your main, then you can do that. Okay. If that ain't your main, that ain't bae, you ain't trying to be potential, don't do that. You, you out here going on dates, that's not your main? Uh, of course, obviously the first date. Come on, no, they don't trick question me now. I'm a real ass dick. All right, I had to make sure. Yeah, me there. No, no, for sure, for sure, for sure. Hot breath, smacking, not paying attention. Man, I could do this all day. What about you? Man, I could do this all day. Um, I don't like to repeat myself, so if you're not paying attention, I hate dirty nails, like long, dirty nails on a man. I cannot stand them. Pet peeve on a date. I gotta say bad hygiene. Yeah. Okay. All right. Not talking, or if I'm leading the conversation the entire time. 
So I'm gonna say dead time. So it's kind of similar to her, like not talking, but I hate like that dead air. Like you have to say something. Right. Like I don't want to sit there twiddling my thumbs and like, thinking about, uh, so, so what's your mama name? <laughs> yeah, like something. Okay, okay. How does someone get a second date with you after the first date? Um, I would just say like good vibes, like you know what I'm saying, like you're real. We just connect. There's nothing, you don't make me, cause I get aggravated easily. So it's like, if if we out and you like do some weird stuff or say like some weird stuff, like while we on a date, I'm gonna be like, mm -hmm, I don't like you. And my whole vibe gonna change like for the rest of the date until I leave and I'm not gonna text you back. Honestly, I'm a personality girl, so like if you're possible, if we vibe very well, like there's no, like she said, like no stutters, like we keep going, we like really like having a good time, then of course. All right, it's the flow, the vibe. Yeah, like I'm a vibe. Oh my God, friends, hey, during the interview. <laughs> Yay. Love that. OD. <laughs> okay, toodles. Um, um, how does someone get a second date? Someone gets a second date for me if they have manners. I'm really big on this. Don't talk to me. How you talk to your homeboys? Don't talk to me like that. Like, it just should never give that. And then you need manners. Like, open the door for me. Walk on the side. Like, I'm really big into, like, that old school type of thing. So that's how you can get a second date. Chivalry. All right. How does, how does a shorty get a second date with you? Man, they, man, they, they good keys, son. I understand a word you just said. Clap that booty clap. Oh, booty clap. all right, the, the cheeks is clapping. Yeah, booty all right. clap. Second date, did be herself. Genuine, beautiful, good odor, good financial. All right. I don't know, we just gotta connect. Like, you just gotta be genuine. If you're not genuine, and if I'm not feeling your vibe, I don't wanna go back out. I feel like the energy just gotta be unmatched the whole time. Like, we just, we just gotta click on everything. I want to say be yourself. Yeah. Good answer, good answer. Aww. What would lead to the second date? Um, the energy that I give. I'm, I'm big on vibes. I'm big on positive energy. If I feel like I feel good energy from you while we're on there, the conversation is flowing, um, there's no weird, like, dead space like she was saying, then, yeah. Okay, what about you? It has to be a mutual attraction. So, if... And I'm not talking about looks, I'm talking about full, full-fledged full attractions. If the conversation is flowing, if the date is going good, like with me, if you can make me laugh, like absolutely. Um, what is your worst dating experience? Hold on, let me. Oh, okay, I went on a date with someone. He was a little older and we went to a Chinese restaurant. It was cute though, it was cute, a little Chinese restaurant. It was like pink, it was, it was, it was pink interior like design, but it was cute. And we were sitting, so we went and we was kind of like by ourselves. And he was like pretty much, you're not good enough for a relationship, let's just do the nasty, like that's it, that's all. He that's said you're only good for the booty. Yeah. Was this, what, like, what number date was this between y'all two? One. On the first date? First date, y'all. First date. That's wild. Don't be doing it. That's so, like, disrespectful, like, on so many levels, you know what I'm saying? Honestly, I don't think I ever had one. Not, a, not one bad dating, like, everything went fantastic. How many I times have you been? No. Oh, and I, I don't be, I probably had... I only had like two real boyfriends in my life. You and had or you have? Had. Oh, okay. <laughs> two real boyfriends in my life and honestly like yeah. Okay, okay. They well. never messed up because they know. Oh, somebody had messed up because there was two. <laughs> well, well, besides that. Okay. The dating experience, like they already know, like I like to have fun. I like, want to like, I'm a kid, like we can go Chuck E. Cheese for real. Like I like to do stuff like that. Chuck E. Cheese pizza slaps. Yeah. Facts. I'm saying, very greasy. We love that. <laughs> what about you? Um, I really haven't had a bad dating experience because I don't go on dates. So, yeah. Why? I'm not. I just don't know. Like, so if I gotta ask you, yo, let's go out to eat. Is it dub? I mean, it just depends. But like, these niggas just. Uh, my yeah, day, like y'all like, all really just. Uh, I would have been a good mood so if I let you take me on a date. And but you've been on dates, too, that we can account for already. So what are you talking about? 
But I was in a good mood, honestly, because we see where that's at. Pass. Ah. <laughs> okay. What is your worst dating experience? The ugly hoe. Burr, ugly hoes. Uh huh. So you out here dating ugly bitches? Nah, that was one time. I don't fall with ugly hoes. You one see time. this female right here? She's the finest female you ever seen your whole life. Good okay. dark skin. Right. She find it for all So go, go talk to that. Go get I that. I can't. I can't. Bro. Why not? Because you don't like me. This one. This is my favorite one too. <laughs> Another one right here. Like I can't get her. They're too toxic, bro. All them too toxic, bro. Man. All right. So I was in college. This is about ten years ago. I look young as hell. I look younger than my man's right here, right? Uh huh. So ten years ago, right? I was going on a simple day. I, asked her, I took her to get some ice cream, right? Right. So she was like, I need a man that's going to pay for everything. Get what happened, right? She paid for her own ice cream. Uh-huh. Over. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all I got. And that's facts. No cap. Yeah. What's your worst dating experience? Ooh. <laughs> Do we have to answer that? Yes. Okay, so this one time I went on a date and dude picked up the phone and was on the phone the whole time we was on the date. Yeah. That was I was actually in a relationship with him. Um, we went to this place. I told him I gave the idea and I paid for my food, which was fine, but it was kind of like you invited me to go out. Um, and he was sitting on TikTok like the whole time. I'm sitting here having conversation. He just looking so at. So this me. is your boyfriend at the time. It was my boyfriend at the time. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was crazy. It was crazy. What about you? Your worst date experience. Worst date experience. I gotta say, we were supposed to go to the movies, and he bought all his damn homeboys with him. <laughs> and it was like. Dang, what am I supposed to do? Like, you know, and he just kept leaving me for the homeboys. Like, they all had to go places together, so it was like a whole bunch of homeboys plus me. <laughs> That's tough. Is What is or what was your worst dating experience? Oh, shit. shit. I got that one. Go My ahead. worst dating experience was me being taken out by one, a dude that eventually told me that I was never his type anyway because he liked dark skinned girls with locks. And um, he told me he just got out of jail and all this, all this like real bad shit that basically you weren't my husband at the end of the day. I have no words for that. Okay. <laughs> so my worst day, he took me to the movies. Everything was going good. He kept talking about his stomach was bothering him, right? Uh -huh. The man, during the, like at the beginning of the movie, we were like five minutes in, he gets up and walks past me and farts, right? And I smell it. I'm like, he was like, he said his stomach was bothering him. He farts and leaves. And he left me to watch this movie by myself. And he texts me like 15 minutes before the movie ended and was like, hey, I had to run home and change my clothes. So I'm assuming he shitted on himself, like okay. not to... No shade, no tea. But um, yeah, all and the they, shade, all the tea. I mean, listen, like, what am I supposed to? Besides that, was the date at least good? No, no I was here by myself. Was I was no at the day. movies by myself. Oh, okay, Honey. they they didn't even go that far because no, he, he had a boo boo. No, he had to boo boo. Stay great. Bow. Stay great. Bow. Okay, that got for you, bro. Stay great, bro, bro. Stay <laughs> great. <laughs> Stay great, CAU, what's happening? Keep champion dreaming. Hey. Wow. Let the camera say stay great. Stay black, thank you. Stay black.